guys welcome back to the channel today I'm doing a get ready with me featuring this look right here so if you want to come and hang out this will probably be a long video but let's chat let's put on some makeup and I'm pretty happy with how this turned out so if you guys want to see how I created this look then definitely keep watching let's get ready together all right so let's get started I already prepped my skin I did um, use my PMD last night and use some really good skincare and my skin is feeling so soft and smooth so I already moisturized and prepped my skin and I am going to use a primer today I've been really obsessing you guys already probably know this but it's the Milani prime corrector I just have a little sample in a baggie here <laughs> I'm still I'm still mooching off of this little sample I'm just going to blend this kind of like in a sweeping motion because I don't want to like rub this in. I want it to just kind of give me a nice silky finish. For foundation today, I'm pulling out one of my old favorites. I love this so much, but unfortunately it only comes in just a few shades, which sucks. I wish Please Wet n Wild make more shades of this foundation because it's so flipping good. <laughs> my old tried and true coverall foundation for Wet n Wild. I'm in the shade Fair. Using my favorite beauty sponge, this is the AOA Plush Beauty, I don't know, <laughs> beauty sponge or whatever. Just going to dab this all over. And I'm going for full coverage today. I really want to do a kind of like brown, yellowish brown eye, big lashes, big liner, just just oh just brown everything I'm really obsessed with like camel brown yellow toned everything <laughs> So for concealer today, I'm going to kind of mix a few different ones together. I have one from Wet n Wild. This is their concealer stick in Nude for Thought. And I really like this one to kind of get rid of any uh, dark circles. So I'm just kind of dabbing this on. And then I'm going to go over top with this NYX HD Concealer in Porcelain. And I'm going to blend everything out with this cute little baby blender. This is perfect for concealer. This is like $1, you guys. This is from Shop Miss A. And you can tell the difference in the size. This is the plush Wonder Blender. And this is the little mini Wonder Blender. And it's super soft. It's actually a lot softer than I thought it would be. And it's perfect. You're going to see right here with me using it. It just fits perfectly underneath the eyes. It makes it so easy. I don't have to like squeeze and kind of manipulate the sponge. It's just, she's perfect. So I'm actually filming a Shop Miss A unboxing haul. So you'll probably see that already up. I don't know if I'll, this video will go up before that one, but if it is already up, I will link it in the description box if you guys want to watch that. I ordered a bunch of new brushes, which I'm super excited to try out. They came up with an eye brush set. How long have I been telling you guys how badly I've been wanting them to put out a uh, eye blending brushes because they they have a whole lot of face brushes but not like eye brushes so I'm gonna go ahead and hurry up and set that concealer with the elf high definition under eye setting powder again another favorite I haven't used in a while because I've been trying out so many other powders lately and I actually purchased the new under eye powder from elf it's the color correcting powder I have the shade rose and I don't know I've been testing it out comparing it to this powder and I don't know if I like it or not it's it's nice and it is brightening it's like dry it really dries out my skin like way more than this powder I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes right now really quickly with the BH primer you guys know this is my favorite in bisque I, I switched to using like the wet and wild one and I just I missed this one there's just something about it. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> so I think a really great way to apply this is with a little baby sponge like this. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the sponge. Just kind of work it in there. Just pick some up on the sponge like that. Because this is kind of, it's not like super dry, but it's not extremely creamy. So if you're having issues with that paint pot, um, 
just use a sponge it just gives you an even application and boom you're done like it's just so easy so you look at that so easy and I'm just going to take more of that elf powder and set that I like to use a translucent setting powder to set my eye primer all right so we need to do something with these brows so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows I've been trying different ways of doing them and I'm just experimenting so I'm just going to use I've been using some wax and powder products and then setting it with a brow gel and I really like how it looks I don't know you guys know I hate doing brows <laughs> I hate it so much and I just want to get it done quickly and I don't want them to look insanely drawn in I mean sometimes I like that look but not always <laughs> all right let's move on to the eyes I really want to play around with some like brown uh, kind of yellow camel type colors I really love this palette here from wet n wild it's called rose in the air and I really want to play around with these two shades especially this one this one I want like all over and I also grabbed my summer breeze palette from elf the mad for matte this is the number two palette so oh I'm excited. So I think I'm actually going to take this shade right here, the third shade down. It's like a really pretty yellowish brown and I might also use that color as well because I am obsessed. I'm just going to pop this in the crease and lay that down as my transition color. Just something to start out with. Oh yeah, you see that? Mmm. <laughs> I love these type of colors. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with these colors, but I just am. I'm taking the AOA Studio High Def Brush in E110. It's a flat shader brush. It's really humongous, but I love it for the lower lash line. I'm taking that same color. And I love this because it really packs on a lot of pigment. Like, just watch. See that? Oh my gosh. And I feel like because it's such a large brush, I can just like go boom, 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 and I'm done. All right, I'm gonna go into the Wet n Wild palette and I'm taking this transition shade here. Ugh, I love it, it's so pretty. I don't know if I should put it all over the lid. Maybe I should put it all over the lid. Hmm, taking my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. We're just gonna really pack this on the lid. Oh, this color is everything right now. This is everything to me. Look at that pigmentation. Holy crap, wet and wild. I just finished watching all seven seasons of Parks and Recreation. And it was such a good show. I was really sad to see it like end. Like watching the final episode last night I was really sad. Kind of teared up a little bit. I just thought, you know, it's such a funny show. I don't know why it was canceled, but still, really good show. It's on Netflix. And I just also started watching this new one. It's a Netflix original. It's called The Frankenstein Diaries or something like that. And it's pretty good. I've watched three episodes, I think, so far. And it's kind of a, I don't give anything away, but it's not as far as I can tell, like a supernatural type show, which that's what I was kind of hoping for. You know, I love the whole Frankenstein and vampires. I love that kind of shit. I love it so much. But I think it's more of like a murder mystery type of thing, but it's like back in the, what, 1800s or something like that. Um, so it's a pretty good show. It's definitely intense. You have to like really pay attention to it. Otherwise you will miss out on important information. But so far, I really like it. Same color on that same big brush here. And I'm going to pop that on the lower lash line. I'm going in with a clean blending brush. And I'm just going to go along the edges here just to blend everything. So it's not like really harsh or anything like that. 
All right, I'm going to take this yellow shade from this little Wet Well palette. This is called Art in the Streets. I don't know if you can get this anymore, but I really don't have another yellow. <laughs> so I'm going to take the yellow from here using that same brush. This is a number five pro brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to pick up this yellow shade. Just really pack that on. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to take this along the perimeter. So just like right along here. I just want a little touch of yellow. Alright, I'm going to touch up that transition color we laid down first. So going back to that e.l.f. palette. I know it's a lot of back and forth. But these palettes all together, just they're creating a really pretty look right now. I'm feeling it. Just going to go through and touch up that crease again. I'm going to go back in with that yellow a little bit more. Call me Mel Yellow. I'm also going to add that same yellow shade to the lower lash line just to kind of very softly diffuse the very, very edge here. Just very lightly. Alright, so I'm going to add, I think brown will go really well. So I'm using this really pretty chocolatey brown. Unfortunately, guys, I just found out that Essence discontinued these gel retractable eyeliners oh my gosh you guys know how much i love these they also have other eyeliners i think they're called extreme waterproof gel liners but these ones are retractable this is in the shade cocoa bean so any brown matte eyeliner will do so i'm going to pop this in the waterline i'm also going to tight line with it I think I'm also going to apply this to the upper lash line and really like make this a grungy kind of smoky look. Alright, so to finish off this look, let's put on some big fluffy lashes. I really like these ones from Ardell. These are the 250s and they're the mega volume. Now I always put mascara on before my false lashes, but I wanted to try it before I put on mascara and just see if I like it better that way. I don't know, I just, I've never done my lash application that way, but everyone puts on lashes differently, but I'm gonna try to put them on first. I love these lashes. They're so fluffy. Okay, one down. Not too, not too bad. Do a little dance. Uh -uh, lash dance. Do a little dance. Uh All right, I'm gonna take a little mascara and just kind of marry those two together. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm going against everything that feels natural to me. Alright, so let's finish off the face. I'm using my good old, oh, my good old faithful, my Lunatic Cosmetic Labs contour palette. This is the first one. They have a volume one and a volume two. So I'm going to use, I think, this one here. And I'm gonna grab my contour brush. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> that's my blush brush. The Real Techniques contour brush. I'm just gonna pick some of that up. It's funny because actually recently I haven't been doing any um, bronzer. Look at that, look how pigmented. I haven't been doing any bronzer lately. I've just been doing contour and then blush. I don't know why. I just, I really like to contour now. Get rid of that double chin, girl. I'm gonna go down my nose a little too. And then for blush, I'm also gonna use this palette because I, I just love this palette so much. I'm gonna use the light pink shade right here. It's like a mauve pink. Just adding a little color back into my skin. Not much though, because I wanna look like a corpse. I don't know why, but I really wanna use this green highlighter here. This one is called wild cosmos and pretty much this is the same as the mermaid highlighter you guys remember that one so 
so I'm gonna use this color today because I really want to just do something different it's kind of like a green gold oh look at that <laughs> oh I think I might have put a little too much on oh that is so pretty Woo, girl we are glowing and I am not even mad at how intense this is <laughs> All right, so we're gonna set everything and add a hydrating spray. I'm using this one from e.l.f. and I'm so, I'm so in love with this, you guys. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. And this also comes in aloe, but I like coconut, so. Oh yes. Oh, it smells so freaking good. Alright, so I think I'm going to go for kind of a brown grungy color. So I'm actually going to use the grunge lip liner and lippy stick from ColourPop. You know what's funny? I don't hear anyone ever talking about the ColourPop lippy sticks anymore. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I feel like that was such a big thing and now no one talks about it. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the grunge lipstick. I haven't worn this in a really long time. It's definitely one of my favorites. I need to pull these ColourPop lipsticks out more often. And this is the matte finish, which doesn't look matte at all. <laughs> all right, guys, so that completes this chit chat get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I am loving it. I want to wear this every day now. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. I post new videos on every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday. Definitely check out the description box where you can find me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, everything that I use today, I will list all the products as well in the description box. I will see you in the next video. Remember, Smarter Beauty is my beauty. Bye, guys.